Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is a quick little project to practice pencil control and value or creating lights and darks to create shading. Um, my original example, I use regular pencil, but you can also use color pencil for this project as well. The first thing I'm going to do for this is I'm going to divide my paper into boxes or squares. They don't have to be exact. You don't have to measure. I'm gonna divide this into six boxes. So I'm gonna draw a line horizontally across my paper and then I'm going to draw two lines vertically using a straight edge or a ruler. All right, once I've got that finished, I'm going to add two lines to each box. I'm going to make sure that they either touch the edges of the box or they run into another line to create a complete space to fill in. I don't want to have any gaps. I'm going to repeat this in every box and I can use curved lines or straight lines. Um, and I don't want to put them too close together because I want to make sure there's enough room for all of my shading. Okay, now that I finish adding lines to each of my boxes, I'm ready to start the shading process. I picked three different colors for this. Um, when you're doing your shading, you want to use the side of your pencil lead, not the point when you want to do your first layer. I'm using a really light pressure. I'm not pressing very hard at all. And I'm just trying to create a nice even base layer for my color inside my shape. The reason I'm using the side of my pencil and not the point is because it colors in my area faster and it's a more even layer of color. I don't have as harsh a line if I were using the tip. Now that I've got my base color, I'm gonna choose the direction where I want my shading to start. So I'm gonna use a little bit more pressure on this layer and I'm gonna start adding a medium tone, so a little bit darker than my first layer. And I'm gonna try and gradually add it so it's not too harsh. You shouldn't really be able to see too easily where one shade starts and the next one begins. Once I have my medium, I can start using even more pressure to create a darker layer. You can see that it's really dark in that corner, and the darker that corner is, the better, because you want to have a lot of contrast, so a big range of tones from dark to light. As I move away from the corner, I lessen my pressure so that it blends easily. All right, my first shape is done. I'm gonna go ahead and choose another color. Now when I add the shading to this box, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I don't have my dark shades too close together. I wanna to be able to create difference. So I'm gonna put my darker shade down here in the bottom corner of this triangle. And for my last color, I'm using gray for my last color. I tried to pick colors that would help each other stand out. And I'm repeating that same process. I'm starting with my lightest color as a base on the bottom, and then I'm using more pressure as I build up the next layer. So my medium layer goes next. Still using that side of my pencil to build it up. And then finally the dark layer after that where I use the most pressure. You can see how I place the darker area away from the other darker areas of this project. Okay. That about sums it up. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this step for every box until I have them all colored in. Alright guys, with a little bit of movie magic, I've finished this project. Um, this is a great example of how you can create a lot of interest by just changing the pressure of your pencil. Um, here is an example of the pencil one that I did earlier. They look great both in colored pencil and in just regular pencil. I hope you'll give this a try and I hope you like it. Hope you guys are doing well and see you guys soon.